What's for dinner? Bell peppers. Stuff with meat. Stuffed bell peppers. This recipe consists of green bell peppers, red bell peppers, rice, one pound of hamburger seasoned to taste, onion, baby bella mushrooms, spinach, meat flavor ragu, olive oil, sharp cheddar cheese, and mozzarella cheese. All right, stuffed bell peppers. So, stuffed bell peppers. So, didn't I just say that? Anyway, uh, the first thing we're gonna start with is about a pound of ground beef. Yeah. Don't be mashing it. You massage me. You don't massage. Anyway. You got spatula. You're right. That ain't no good idea. You need spatula. Uh, say what? Spatula. Yeah. Give me, give me that old raggedy. He gonna bend up. Be right. faithful. We need some more lights. We can get some more specials. Um, rice. Cooking the rice. Cooking two cups of rice. Quick rice. Two cups. Of I think this. I made, um, so I guess essentially you just need to follow the directions on the box. That's right. You know how to cook rice. Cook rice. Everybody know how to cook rice. Yes. Thank. You. All right. So we're going to season the meat with some salt. Season. I don't want it to be bland. Some salt up in there. Mm. Some pepper. Okay, they can't see you. Hmm? They don't need to see me. They need oh. to see this meat. Oh, well, I guess you're right. I can't open this. You need to see you. Oh, there you go. Okay, put some okay. pepper up in there. Mm-hmm. Put the pepper in there. Mm -hmm. Salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. And some onion powder. Onion powder. And some what, babe? Garlic powder. Yes. Oh, yeah. In the pan, no, not on the side. Oh, I have to waste the side. You know, you know, one day we're going to start telling y'all the, the, the exact measurements of what we're putting in here. Yeah, one day. But for now, let's put a little bit of that down now. Mm -hmm. You know how you like your hamburger season? Just season. Yeah, let's put a little bit of that down now. And I am going to chop up the red and green bell pepper that's going to go in there. So you're going to stuff a green pepper with a green pepper? Yeah. Boy, that's, that's just unnatural. That's how you do it, baby. It's going to be good, though. I'm eating two of them. And we're going to fry this up. So the ground beef is cooking. I'm going to pull the peppers and the onions in there. Cook all that down. Oh, just a little bit of olive oil in there. That's what you're doing, I'm going to name it. Or Safran, baby. Safran. Yo, Fran. Why y'all like him? Because he's weak. <laughs> <laughs> he's weak. He be bending up when I be trying to mash stuff down. But he's faithful. Look at him. I have to turn around and flip him over and mash him. You're doing him. good, baby. I'm talking to me at a special. Turn this up a little bit. Mm -hmm. We're gonna fry that up. That's gonna be part of the stuffing for the bell peppers. Okay, so we have mushrooms again. I know every recipe has mushrooms, but we like mushrooms. Oh yeah. I'm gonna just um, do a real rough chop on them. I just washed them. So we just gonna throw them in with the peppers and the ground beef. And Randy is currently finishing up the rice. Oh yeah. 
Cooking that rice, cooking that rice, rice. All right, ready? Ready for what? I gotta put this in in the pot, the top on them. Okay, so I'm gonna put the Stirring it up. Yes, sir. So you gotta you gotta have this on kind of low, cause you don't wanna cook the meat too fast before you get all the vegetables in there. All right. Unless you prep your vegetables. Prep your vegetables. Before you put you, you put your meat in there, then you put it all in there at once. Mm-hmm. Why don't we do that? I forgot. Okay. It's okay. Okay, thanks. Okay. Batch getting on my nerves. Give me give me a spoon or something. Right? I'm be professional. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we can turn it back up. It's coming together. I'm throwing spatula in the sink. Next stop, the trash. <laughs> spatula okay. not going in the trash. Alright, so while that's cooking, we're gonna chop up our bell peppers. We're gonna prep the bell peppers. Alright, so the what? Yeah. What you doing with the car? Ain't got nothing to do. Um. So the way you do that is, we're gonna chop the tops off, and then we're gonna clean out the inside, uh, and get ready for what we what we really want to put in there. What about eating my shrimp waffle? Why my shrimp waffle though? Zoe, don't be oh. looking at me. Don't nobody know what no shrimp waffle is. They do. No, you gonna mess the video up talking about. It. Cookies. Oh. Stroop waffles. They good. See so that's another plug for Stroop waffles. So contact us and we'll hook you up. We're gonna be doing that for free now. Who is in my little bag? What you what you promoting now? Okay, Dude, Trying to go down the whole line like this little snacks. Who been eating my Oreo? Who been eating my Keebler's? So, while Adrian was talking about cookies, you clean the bell pepper out like so. Get it ready. And see, when you go to the store, you want to get some of them bell peppers. It's going to sit up like that. You don't want to get them ones. With, you don't want to get them ones with like three legs on it. <laughs> when you sit it up, it'll fall over <laughs> like that. The ones my daughter was picking out of here. I said, thank you, and I threw them all back when she turned her back and got the right one. You know, one with the four legs or the four humps on it. Level. So that's what you need right there. So you clean all your bell peppers out, prep them like so, and you're going to be good to go when you put your stuffing in there and you stick it in the oven. Can I say something? That's a giant stroop waffle, yeah. in. Mm-hmm. This is a stroop waffle. It's a cookie. We got like caramel in the middle. This a giant it's a stroop waffle. waffle. <laughs> it's a cookie. <laughs> and it got caramels in the middle. <laughs> and I love this <laughs> stroop waffle. Would you fall on my head? <laughs> she get on my nerves. I get them at TJ Maxx. They good. She get her cookies from TJ Maxx, y'all. <laughs> Not Kroger, <laughs> not Target, TJ Maxx. That's where she get her cookies from. They got the best And you know what's in TJ Maxx. All the stuff they throw out the store. They send it over to TJ Maxx so they can sell it. Y'all trying. Do you like Stroop Waffle Bay? Yeah, they pretty good. Exactly. <laughs> pretty good. Yeah. Maybe it's the name that be throwing people off. You know, yeah. Stroop Waffle. That, that's mad. that sounds like it's stank. Did you just give me some of them stroop waffles? That sounds like a stink. This is my other stash. They ate my other ones. Zoe. For those of you who don't know, Zoe is our three year old. Oh. Yeah. Who don't know? So, oh, I think like the mind. whole world knows us. Well, I don't know But, anyways, get all your bell peppers clinked out. Get you some Stroop waffles and, and snack on them, mm -hmm. and uh, you're going to be good to go.
Hey, who's screw waffles, baby? Hmm? Let me see. Go on, see. We can throw this whole plug in here. Uh-uh, I don't know how to say this. Huh? You probably made... Delmans. Delmans. Since 1904. Delmans screw waffles. From TJ Maxx. Or <laughs> Ross. Just for this. Where you get your drinks from? Hmm? Sam. You get them from Sam? Yeah. Okay. Where you get where you get the drinks from the uh, lingerie section? And Sam. Mm -hmm. What's your drinks called? Hmm? Legacy. Apple juice. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Apple bottom drink. Boots with the fur. Baby. You know, you know the song? What? You got to hurry up now. Okay. So yeah. Last, last, last time I'll tell you, clean your bell peppers out and get them ready for the stuffing. Wait, oh, you want something for you? Scoop off. Oh, wait a minute. Get a video on. Okay, so meat's been cooked. You see the vegetables are, well, I don't know if you can see, but they done cooked down a lot, but they still got a little bite to them. They can see. We're going to put in um, some of our red glue. Regu! Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Love some ragu. Yeah. This is the meat kind. And we don't put a ton of it because we don't want our filling to be too grainy. But we do want to put enough because we still gotta put our rice in there. What's the other kind of name? You got the ragu and you Prego. Got, yeah, the job have uh preferences. Uh I think my mama used Prego. Prego. I think so. But this was cheaper. Um, so I started using these. My mama used. My mama used ragu. Ragu, yeah. You go and get some Prego, she could be like, I can't cook no spaghetti. We ain't got nothing but Prego. <laughs> it's the same thing. <laughs> no, that's Prego. I need ragu. But it's it's, it's tomato sauce. <laughs> It's Prego, though. Don't everybody know you can't cook spaghetti without ragu. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Tomato, tomato. Tomato, tomato. Potato, potato. Right? Spinach going in. Yep. Oh, you didn't wash your hands. I did wash my hands. I didn't see you wash your hands. That's because you've been over there looking at Texas. <laughs> I've been over here focused on the people. On the people? Yes. Mm -hmm. By the people, for the people. So you know spinach cook down a lot, so just go and put it in there. Mm -hmm. Put it on in there. You put the top on it so it can sweat. Yeah. yeah. Look at you. See, I know what I'm talking about. about you can put that top on there so it can sweat. Yeah, it's going to sweat a little tight. And then it's going to draw up. Let me get my apple juice. Oh, my. So, spinach has cooked down. That looks delicious. Mm -hmm. That didn't take long at all either. Cooking. I don't take long. Probably took about two, three minutes. Yep. And we're going to scoop some rice up there. Scoop a little rice in there. A little rice. This spatch your cousin, Spoonie. A spoon is strong. Yeah, spoon is alright. Yeah. So nice. as you can see, the oven is preheated to 375. Getting ready for those bell peppers. That was a beep that you just heard. But it's a real simple dish. You just pretty much make the stuffing mm -hmm. in this one pan. You know, just by adding your ingredients. Um, back to back and uh once that stuffing is ready we're gonna stick them in the bell peppers and we're gonna put some cheese on top and we're gonna stick them in the oven yep so we'll show you that in a second all right so the stuffing is finished for the most part we're mm -hmm. just gonna put a little bit of water in the bottom of the dish it's gonna kind of steam and help the peppers cook and keep them from burning on the bottom 
So clever. Mm -hmm. Cause she clever. When she busts around, she's clever. Always on my mind. She's clever. But she really wanna grow and walk Bun on your head. Come on, baby. Oh, I was about to rap. You know, girl, you know, I was about to come out with that rap. <laughs> Golly. I can't even play with you. What you mean? Oh. What you come mean? Come on, baby. You got to stuff these, these pebbles, huh? I thought you was about to stuff them. You lazy. So come on. All right. Well, give me the spoon. Just spoon right there. Okay. So. So. Here we go. What you're going to do is wait. Huh? You got to put a little cheese in the bottom because you want cheese to be all the way through each time. Oh, you told me that first. Well, I told you, you should have told me that first. Oh, right? no. You just put a little cheese in there? Yeah, just put a little cheese in the bottom. Just yeah. a little bit? Yeah, just a little taste. Because you're going to have it in the middle too and on the top. Okay. Just a little you taste. You want to have plenty. Oh, yeah, keep going. Okay. Yeah. Put some more in there? Uh uh. Okay. Oh, that's it. Okay. All right. Now stuff halfway full. Halfway? Yes, halfway because you're going to put another layer of cheese in there. Mm. That's about halfway. No way. You gotta press it down in there, baby. Oh, get it in them grooves yeah, in there. Yeah, get it in there. them creases in there. Okay, about, about halfway. Keep going, look a little more. Okay. Okay, about halfway. Yeah, about halfway. You put fill a little more. Fill out a little more halfway, then you put the cheese on there. Okay. And you stuff, okay, you put a little bit more in there. Like so. Mm hmm That's enough? Yeah. All right. You put some more on top. Delicious. Mm -hmm. Take it down and put you a little more for it. Some more in there. Mm. Mm. It feel like right flush with the pepper. Flush with the pepper. Yeah, so it don't bubble over because so you don't have don't cheese. Bubble over. So now on the top you're gonna put your um cheddar and your mozzarella on the top. Okay. All right. Cheddar. Yep. Cheddar. And it's good for a clunker. Oh, mozzarella. I see my hand clean too. Ooh. What? Okay. You know okay, how I wash good. my hand. That's good. Though. Hand sanitizer and everything. Where hand sanitizer is? It's right there behind you. And it's about empty because I used it. No, it's a matter of it. Anyway. So we're going to stuff all four of them like that. Yeah. And then we're going to stick them in the oven. All right, so we got our bell peppers stuffed and ready to go in the oven. And we had enough filling left over for what? About two more? Yeah, about two more. Yeah. So we're gonna freeze that filling and later on, if I just wake up one day and I'm like, I want me a bell pepper. Mm, mm. I'm gonna go down there and unthaw it mm. and let my wife cook me a bell pepper. Mm, mm. Hmm. What? That's so you can be- You might help me though. You supposed to help me cook the meat. I have. I have you today. Pepper. You supposed to help, help me today. cook the meat in the bell pepper. But I did, babe. You, you don't read the Bible. You have to help yourself. This okay. Time. Okay. Ready? We about to get them out. Bell peppers ready, and it's gonna be good. Oh yeah. All right. See, see what we're working with. They all melted and bubbly and. My wife about to let them burn. But it's all right. How you going? It's going to be delicious.